So, we're going to, on your beautiful platter that I know you all have at home, you're going to get out some of these. And this is really fun for everyone to do on their own at the table. I just usually, honestly, set out this giant board with all the toppings and the sauces and the chicken, and then we just go for it at the table. But for show purposes, we're going to make one. So there you go. My husband taught me something great. Don't tell him I said so. But he thinks that it's really helpful if you put, like, your sour cream for a taco or whatever right on the tortilla, or in this case, our lettuce wrap. That way you're not getting all the other toppings on your spoon when you're trying to shake it off, right? So if all we've got is that, we're just going to go ahead and a little bit right in there. A little bit of our peanut sauce. Then we're gonna do just a little bit of our chicken. So, just a couple little chunks, that's all you need. There you go, I got three and a half chunks of chicken. Then we're gonna do a little bit of our green onion. And you guys, like I said, you can put whatever you want on these. There you go. Then some noodles. I'm a, I'm a real glutton for toppings, so if there's a topping to be had, it's going on no matter how messy it ends up being. Case in point, here's what I'm about to do. Then, our amazing pickles that we made, these look so great, and I really like the acidity on these lettuce wraps, so I'm gonna add some of those. This is not first date food, you guys. This is when you're really comfortable with everybody that you're eating with, because it gets all over the place. I'm a messy eater, I know for a fact. So here you go. So we've got our peanut sauce, we've got our chicken, we've got our pickles that we just made. And if you guys like, you know, extra sriracha, you can do that as well. Um, some more fresh ginger, that's fine. Anything else that you like, like I said, I did bell peppers last night, pickled radishes, it's all fair game. So this is your lettuce wrap. I will not torture you by eating this on camera right now. But I will show you how to put my last favorite topping together. So this is a very cute avocado. But nonetheless, this is how I like to serve avocado at the table. As we all know, avocado browns really, really quickly unless you add some acid to it. But sometimes I don't want the taste of that in my avocado. I just want straight avocado. So we're going to carefully get Carefully get out our pit. There you go. Thank you very much. Tiny avocado probably needs a smaller knife. What I do is I just drag my knife through the avocado, not breaking the skin. And then I just make another little grid. So there. And I do this on both sides. So we're just tracing little lines so we get a small dice. So here's our little avocado. It's still in its little protective skin. And then what you're gonna do is you can give everybody their own little half of avocado at the table. You just put it face down on the platter. So you just put it face down. That way the air doesn't get to it and it doesn't brown as quickly. That's what we did last night. It worked great. So I don't want anything on this besides avocado. And the last thing I do, is you just use your little spoon. Some people turn it inside out, like I do that with mango, but not avocado. I just scoop it out of its little home and add it to this delicious lettuce wrap. And there you go, pre-diced avocado, no browning. So there you go, everybody. You have this delicious lettuce wrap. And like I said, if you want, you can, when this cools, it's too hot now, so I'm not gonna put it on it. But when the sauce cools, it's amazing to put on the table with a little spoon, and people can just drizzle a little bit extra of that sauce if they'd like. So there, there's your lettuce wrap. How's that look? Yay, delicious lettuce wrap, yay! I've got an apron on. I should probably eat with an apron most of the time. Oh, technique, all right, this is not, my dad last night tried to like wrap this up like a burrito. It was a mess. Use your hands, and you just, Fold it in a little bit. Your hand is a cradle. Once you start, you cannot put it down, everybody. This is like burrito rule. If you put the thing down, it's gonna dump all over the place. So you're committed once you start. Here we go. 